Hello, Physique 57 family. I'm Tanya, and I'm so excited you're joining me today on your fitness journey. I hope to make this one of the best parts of your day. We are going to be focusing on the back of your body, lots of glutes. Best part is you don't need any equipment. It's gonna be fast paced. We're gonna get through it together. I'm gonna to give you options along the way to modify or intensify. And remember, consistent action equals consistent results. So let's get this sculpting party started. Take a deep breath in, and I want you to draw the shoulders down the back and start to reach side to side. All right. And we are off with a big dynamic movement, reaching side to side, thinking about your posture maybe for the first time today, drawing the navel towards your back, bending through the knees. Hey, and guess what? The hardest part is over. You showed up. Congratulations. You deserve this time, and I am your training partner. Let's get a little squeeze in the back muscles. So we have a quick warm up, and then we're gonna work through the right side of the body first. Here we go, and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Woo, can get a little deeper in those bends. All right, we're coming down to the floor. We're gonna hit a plank position in about 10 seconds. You're, I'm gonna give you some modifications if you need to come down to your thighs right away. Here we go, in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come down to the floor. So you're gonna take your hands in line with your heart a little bit lower than your shoulders. Pull your navel in, squeeze through your thighs and your glutes. Now, I want you to start to raise right leg and left leg. Now, if you need to, you can come down and just hold here or hold on your thighs. Otherwise, I want you to keep lifting the legs and then a bend in the elbows. Then try to keep the head as an extension of the spine. Keep your breath flowing. Keep squeezing. Are you starting to feel that heat? Are you feeling the cardio and the strength? That is our formula. Now we're gonna add on to this. I want you to hold still for a moment. You can rest on your thighs, draw the shoulders, keep pulling the shoulders down the back. We're gonna step the right foot to the outside of your right hand for a spider lunge. Watch you don't dip in the hips, scoop the belly up. Now I like to tent through my fingertips, lift the wrists up, or you can also do these on your knuckles. Alternating legs, squeezing through the glutes. Step your right foot forward and back. Left foot forward and back. Right and back. Left. How are you feeling? <laughs> Woo! We are committed together, right? Forward and back. Big dynamic movements. It's amazing what you can do without any equipment, right? Pulling in and back. In and back. Stretch. Gaze out a few inches in front of you. Reach, pull in. We have about 20 seconds and we're up. Maybe soften through the elbows. Keep the glutes squeezed. Shoulders down the back. Give me your bed. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Last one, hold the right leg forward. Take your time coming up and you are in a lunge. The right leg is forward and we're gonna start working that right glute. Shoulders down the back, navel pulling in. Catch your breath, right? So let's set up the alignment. So lunges are so good for pumping up that metabolic rate, but you wanna make sure you're a series of 90 degree angles. So that right knee over your right heel, left knee under your left hip. Now squeeze the navel in, but try not to tilt the tailbone forward or back, right? We're trying to reduce the effects of sitting all day. So keep pulsing down. Now. I want you to take a deep breath in, inhale, exhale, keep that pulse going, and we're gonna add some armography. Take the arms up. Now you're gonna add a little pulse down, pulse down. It's like a jumping jack, just without the jump. It's just the jack. Here we go, squeeze in, and in, and in. Pumping up that cardio, keeping the strength going. If you need to, you can bring your arms forward, or just bring your hands to a prayer, right? So choose an option. We have a few more here. Press, lift. I want you to pull in energy. Exhale any weakness. We have five, four, three, two, one. Hold. We're going to add on to this. Roll your tailbone slightly back. Navel pulling in. You're in a neutral spine. I want you to take your left foot, tap it to your right. Left leg back. So you're tilted forward on a slight diagonal. In and out. In. Now add some arms. Pulling in. Out. In. Out. Keep that right leg bent because it should be cooking now. We haven't quite fried it yet though. Here we go. Pull in, out, in. Now we're gonna add on, in, 
out to the side, in, out, in, out to the side, in, back. Can we try this a little bit faster? In, out. Let's add some fun arms. It's like you're jogging, you're racing towards your goals. Here we go, in, out. In, out, if you can say it, you can do it. In, out, go ahead, say it with me. In, out, two more. In, out, last one, in, out, hold it. Stay forward, keep that right leg right where it is. You're gonna take your left leg, you're gonna cross it over your right thigh. Squeeze your thighs together. Now I'm finding a focus point on the floor. Just listen to my voice, I'll guide you. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze them together. Now maybe take the hands to a prayer. Come down a little bit lower. Maybe take your arms above your head, finding the strength and the stillness. Body, mind together, strengthening it all. Here we go. Palms back down. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Put your left foot down. Raise your right leg up to a standing split. Lift, ah, oh, sweet relief, right? We're coming back down to the floor and we're gonna keep working that right leg. In four, three, two, come down. Kneeling position hands a little wider than your shoulders. Draw the navel in tightly. Now I want you to take your right foot out to the side. Keep the knees squeezed together. Now you're going to start to lift your right leg up. This is an inverted position. Put it down. A lift on that slight diagonal behind you. Ankle higher than the knee. Let's start to lift up. 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 So try to feel some length in the right side of the rib cage. So watch that your right hip isn't pulling too far in towards the right Rib cage. I want you to find that length, right? We're always about lengthening, and the way you work out is the way you design your body. Lift. Now we're going to add on to this. You're going to tap and then wrap. So you're going to tap your knees together and then press it behind you. So tempo and wrap. Tap and wrap. And I want you to draw the navel in. Keep that right hip towards the floor. If you're not feeling it, most likely you have to drive the navel in a little bit deeper towards your spine. So this is core work. This is ab work. Isn't it amazing? You don't have to do crunches to get a strong, healthy core. Tap, press, right? Here we go. Tap and wrap. Now, can I add one more thing on? I have to. Here we go. Very important for a little more cardio, a little more challenge. I want you to try to hover your left knee off the floor. Tap and wrap. Maybe add the bend of the elbows and wrap. Woo! All right, now we're cooking. Wrap, tap and wrap, tap and wrap. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come down. Now we're gonna do a little chaser here. You're gonna take your right foot out to the side, right by your right hand, turn your knee out, and then tap your knees together. Open it up and tap it, open it up, right? So it's like a, a physique extra, little active recovery. So you open it, tap it, open it. You're still in that side glute. We're getting it from every angle. Tap and down. Open, close, open. Give me a few more. Open, tap it. It's a little lunge, but try not to dip in the hips. Last one. Come down for a pretzel. Left leg is in front of you. Right leg is still behind you. We're still on that right leg. Hold on to your right ankle. Pull the navel in. Now, the left leg's in a 90 degree angle. Left hand to the outside of your left knee. Lean a little to the left. Pull your right thigh back behind you. Draw the navel in. Now you're gonna try to let go and hold that ankle up. Ready? There you go. Hold that ankle up, navel in, lean a little to the left. Here's your pretzel position. We're gonna start to lift the knee off the floor lower. Now the key word here is attempt. Attempt to lift the knee up. Let's take it to tempo. Lift, lift. Now, where you should be feeling the pretzel, you should be feeling it along the waistline, all down the side of the body, side of the glute, back of the glute. I said we were gonna get that glute from every angle and we are doing it. Pretzel is one of the best positions you can do, especially for your waistline. And lift, and lift, and lift. Now we're gonna add on to this. Put the knee down, flex your foot, and we're gonna start to press the leg wrap behind, wrap. Now I want you to try this. I want you to look over your left shoulder and see if you can see your right ankle coming towards your left shoulder. Go ahead, take a peek. Okay, don't worry if you can't see your ankle coming. It's just, I want you to press that thigh back behind your right hip. It's a little party trick you can pull out. Press and press and press. Now, we should be coming into that overload feeling where you feel like you can't do those last 10 reps. So stay with me, this is where it works. All right, I want you to tap your knee down, your foot, knee, 
and foot, knee, and foot. It's okay to be feeling that waistline on the side body. I am cooking up there, right? Here we go. Knee, foot, knee, foot. All right, I want you to put something at the end of this pretzel, at the finish line, that means something to you. Knee, toe, knee, toe. Give me your best 10. This is where you make your gains. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We are not done. Take the right leg on top of your left thigh. We're coming down to the floor. We're gonna finish with the deli slicer. So lie down on your left side. I want you to take your right hand, push your hips out, draw the navel in, lift the left side of the rib cage up off the floor. Now dial your toes up towards the ceiling. Now you're gonna slide your right leg back on a diagonal, flex through your foot, point, pull the knee in. So your left leg is like, a little bit of a launch pad and in. Let's launch into those glutes. I am taking your gluteus to the maximus. Here we go. You're gonna press, pull in, press, pull in, press. Lean into your right hand like it's like a kickstand. Press, pull in, and press. Now we're gonna add on. I know, one more thing. I want you to press back, point through the toes, bring it forward towards your nose, bring it back, pull it in. Let's go, press, pull it in. If you need to, you put your bottom shin down. Press, reach, otherwise keep that left side working. Press, pull in. We're making our way up. Press, reach it forward, break it back. Here we go, press, pull in, bend. Last one, press, pull in. Now we're gonna go right to the deli slicer. Press, pull in. Maybe take the right hand behind your head. Dial that rib cage towards the floor. Press back like you are pressing out anything you don't need in your life. Here we go, press, pull in. Press, and you are bringing up those glutes. Here we go. Press, pull in, press. Now we're gonna finish this off. Press, bring the right leg in front of you. Raise your right arm up. I want you to lift your left hip up off the floor and lift and lift. You can always keep the left hip down. Otherwise, work that core, work your obliques. Here we go, reaching, reaching for new heights. All right, a big, big sprint here. Courage now, tenacity now. I want you to be a little tenacious. Here we go, maybe press it out, flick through the toes. Last, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take that right ankle over your left thigh. This is a little sneaky. Draw the shoulders down your back. Feels the stretch, right? You feel that stretch there? Open up your chest, lift your hips up off the floor. Shift back. I said we were working the back of the body, so guess what's involved? Triceps. There you go. Bend, bend. You feel the triceps. A Little bit of a stretch for that right leg. Now we're gonna try a little can-can. So bring the right knee in towards the chest. Then add on, extend and bend, extend and bend, extend and bend. You're stretching actively, bending the elbows. You know you're doing physique when you don't know which body part you're feeling more of. Extend and bend, extend and bend. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Have a seat on one. Okay, right ankle over your left thigh, shin over shin. You're gonna extend the left leg out if you need to. Quick little stretch here, and then we're gonna start all over again. So take a sip of water if you need it. Take a deep breath in, inhale, exhale, and let's get right to that second side. So let's get into a plank position again. I want you to take your hands in line with your heart. Hands a little wider than your shoulders. Draw the shoulders down the back. Angle the elbows back slightly. Extend through the legs. Head is an extension of the spine. Now yeah, you're gonna step your right foot out, left foot out, right foot in, right foot in. Maybe take it to tempo. Out, out, in, in. Squeezing the glutes, keeping the abs tight, working that upper body. Out, out, in, in, out, out. Let's change legs. Left foot out, right foot out, left foot in, in. Gaze out, 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 in, in. Or you can always take these slower, keep going or you can even keep your thighs on the floor and work on your core strength, right? These exercises should meet you wherever you are on your journey. Now we're gonna add one more thing here. You can hold here, bend the knees underneath the hips or hold here. Now one more layer. I want you to try to jack the legs out, bend the knees and in, out. Woo, here we go. Getting that cardio, getting that heart muscle pumping again. Give me a few more out and in and out and in, and out, and in. Two more. Last one, hold your knees underneath your hips. You can put them down for a moment, reset. I like to lift the wrists up. Shoulders down the back, or you can come to your knuckles. Now, 
want you to try to hover your knees. This is ab work. Squeeze the navel in, squeeze the navel in, squeeze it. Okay, here we go. Now you can stay here, or you can lift and lower the knees, or we stretch right leg back, left leg back, right leg back. Guess what's gonna happen? <laughs> We're going into that left leg lunge in five, four, three, two, one. Left leg forward. Come up, meet me standing. Okay, here we are. Now, into that lunge, left knee. Watch that it isn't pushing forward. You should, if you look down, you should be able to see your toes. Right knee under your right hip. Chest is open, powerful. Endorphins should be flowing by now, right? Pulsing down and down and down. Now, these exercises, our workouts are so much more than just a physical training ground. It's mental, right here. Abs in, it's not like mental crazy, it's mental strength training. Pulse down, pulse down, pulling it. It is a little crazy. <laughs> pulse down and down. Now, I want you to lower that right knee a little bit closer to the floor. Go ahead, tease it. And we're gonna add the arms. Pulling in and in and in. Take a deep breath in of energy. Whew. Exhale. And remember, whatever comes after I am, you become. So right now, I am powerful, I am strong. Bring the arms here if you need to, or right at your heart. There you go, pulse down. Whatever you wanna add after I am, right? I want you to use that for the rest of this workout. Now hold, roll your tailbone back, pull the navel in, gaze out, neutral spine. Tap your right foot, in, out, in. We're cooking up the left leg now, in and out, in and out, in. Try to broaden through the collarbone, in and out with so much technology, right? We lose the postural muscles. So here's your opportunity. Open it up, work the back as well as the glutes. Now, tap it in, out to the side, in and back, in, out, in. Let's take it double time, in, out, in, out. Whoo, left thigh on fire, in, out. Let's boost that metabolism, in, out. Lower body has more muscle. You're burning calories, baby. In, out. Here we go, in, out. In, out. Last one. Stay back. Stay down. Stay low. Left leg, find a spot on the floor. Take your right leg over your left. Go ahead, cross it. Squeeze your thighs together. Come down, find that stillness, find that strength. Balance is so important. Maybe bring your palms to your heart. Maybe take your arms above your head. Squeeze, detoxifying, strengthening. Maybe bring your hands back down if you need to. Find that spot, stay with me. You have five, four, a little lower. Three, two, on one. Put your right foot down. Raise your left leg up to the ceiling. Give me a standing split, pulse it up. Shake your head out. You are not tired. You are a glute warrior. You have four, three, two. Come on down to all threes. We're gonna be on the knees. Hands a little wider than the shoulders, pull the navel in. So I want you to take that left foot, take it out to the side, draw the navel in. Now I want you to lift the left knee up and lower it down. Left knee lift in that inverted position. Lift and lower, lift and lower, and lift and lower. Now try to hold it up a little bit higher if you need to. Lift, try to find that length on the left side of your rib cage from the hip, lift. Point the toes, if you're not feeling it, pull in a little bit deeper, lift and lower, keep that ankle up. Now we're gonna tap the knees together and wrap. Tap, watch you don't arch the spine, try to keep the left hip closed towards the floor. Tap and wrap, tap it and wrap it. Here we go. Now I want you to take those right toes, tuck them under if you did it on the other side, shoulders down the back. We're gonna hover that right knee off the floor. Tap it, wrap it, tap it. Wrap it, try not to hang the head here. Try to keep pulling that navel in. Remember, I am powerful, I am strong, whatever you need to say, right here. Open it, tap it. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come on down, you're gonna take that left foot, the outside of your left shoulder. Tap your knees, remember it's that little physique recovery, sort of, right, active recovery. Open it up, heel can stay high, tap it. Open it, tap it, open it, tap it. Woo. 
How are you feeling? Feeling good? Feeling strong? Open it. Tap it. Here we go. Give me a few more here. Open it. Tap it. Open it. Tap it. Give me five. You have four. Three. Last two. And come on down for your pretzel. Okay. So let's set it up. Right knee in a right angle in front of you. Take your right hand a little bit out to your right side. Hold onto your left ankle. Pull the navel in. Go ahead, take that thigh back behind your hip. Keep rotating your left hip forward. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if the ankle stays up high. Go ahead, let go. Pull in. Now let's, here's that key word again. Attempt to lift up off the floor. You can always come down a little bit lower onto that side if you need to. Lift up, lift up. Now keep drawing the navel in. And again, you should be feeling that waistline on the side. Those side back muscles, one of the hardest muscle groups. Let's start to lift a tempo. Lift and lift and lift. I always say a few pretzels a week, definitely, right? So have a few pretzels a week with me. Lift up and up. Squeezing the belly in and lift. Now let's add on to this. You're gonna flex through your left foot, look over your right shoulder and reach towards your right shoulder. So wrap behind you, wrap, 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 squeeze. Keep lifting in your posture, leaning towards the right side. Woo! Now it's at that overload, right? That's where the muscle transforms. You have to learn how to get comfortable with the uncomfortable, right? What you do right now is gonna help you out there. Comfortable with the uncomfortable. Wrap and wrap and wrap. Okay, big finish. Woo, I'm right here with you. Trust me, I am feeling this. I've been doing this 25 years and the pretzel still gets me. It all still gets me. Tap your knee, tap your foot, tap your knee, tap your foot. Now a little faster, knee. Foot, knee, foot, woo. Okay, this is where we strive together, right? Knee, foot, knee, foot, knee, foot. Yeah, there you go. Be relentless with it. Uh-huh, let's go. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There's no break. That's a little bit of a break. Take your left leg on top of your right. I want you to lie down on your right side. I want you to take your left hand. Push the rib cage out. Lift your right oblique up off the floor. Left hand goes down in front of you. Now lift your shins up off the floor. Pull the navel in. That launch pad, take it off. Flex, press back. Point, pull the knee towards the floor. Flex, press back and in. Here we go. Up to tempo, pull it in. Press back, pulling in, stretch. Pulling in, the way you work out is the way you design your body. Beautiful long lines, here we go. Press back and in, press back, pull in. I always tell clients, don't look for easier, look for better, right? It wouldn't be a workout if you didn't feel it. Let's press it back, add on, bring it forward and back. Pull it in, stretch back, pull it in, forward. Let's go in and out. You can always put that bottom shin down if you need to. Pull in, flex back. Bring it forward. Give me a few more here. In, stretch back. Bring it forward. Last one, and we keep it moving. Forward, you're up, hopefully. <laughs> Are you with me? Out and in. Bring it forward. Press it back. Pull it in. Two more here. In, then just the deli slicer. Last one. In, out. Let's deli. Bring it home. In, add that arm if you did it on the other side. In, press back, get a little twist, a little ring out. In, and press, in, impress yourself. In, and out, here we go. In, and out, stamina endurance. We're gonna finish, pull it in. Last one, now bring it forward. Put your left hand down, hold that left leg up. Stretch, maybe lift up if you did it on the other side. Lift, lift, you can always put the hip down if you need to, lift up, add that right arm up. Here we go, striving to the finish line. We wanna stretch and bend and bend and bend. Final eight, seven, big push, six, five, four, three, two, one. Remember, it's that sneaky tricep. You wanna cross the left ankle over, draw the shoulders down the back, open up the chest, shift the body weight back, and start to bend and bend and bend. So feel the triceps. Woo, feel a little bit of a stretch there. Now, we're gonna bring that left knee into the chest. Left knee in, left knee kicks, left knee in, and kick it, pull it in, and kick it, pull it in, and out, pull it in. You can always keep it bent. You can even cross it back over. Give me eight, seven, 
six, five, breathing, four, three, two, have a quick seat on one, left ankle over your right thigh. Go ahead, take a stretch. Remember, you can always extend that bottom leg out. And I have one more treat for the back of the body. Go ahead, take your legs around. You're gonna cross your left ankle over your right. So your feet are gonna stay flat on the floor. You're gonna lie down, don't get too comfortable. All the way down, and you're going to lift the hips up, pull the navel in, and you're just gonna keep the glutes lifted and you're gonna tap your inner thighs together. So the left is crossed in front of the right. You're tapping your inner thighs together. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So you can close your eyes here. The final finishing touches for those glutes. Lift, lift, lift. Now add that little lift and a squeeze, squeeze. Hello, inner thighs, because why not? <laughs> here we go. Squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Uphold, uphold. You don't have to lift your hips high. Keep the rib cage knitted together and breathe through this. You can keep your elbows down. And for a little more back extensor work, you can lift the arms up towards the ceiling, strengthening the lower back muscles, the glutes. Here we go. One last time, all together. I want you to change ankles. So now cross the right ankle over your left, feet stay flat, lift your hips up, tap the knees together. Remember, you don't have to like the way any of this feels, right? But you have to fall in love with the results. Strong, healthy, fit, boosted metabolic rate. Here we go, squeeze in and in. So let that drive you here through the finish line. Lift, if you want, raise the arms up, squeeze, squeeze. Now add that lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze, in and up, in and up. Woo, we're finishing strong. You can even press your elbows down if you need to. Lift and squeeze. Give me a few more here. Up hold, up hold, up squeeze, up squeeze. Last one. Quickly lower down, roll over onto your front. You're gonna take a little frog position. You're gonna press the palms down to the floor. Squeeze your heels in towards your glutes. Draw the navel in. Tailbone heavy towards the floor. Lift up, lift, lift, lift. Big finish here. Lift, lift. Remember, the body achieves what the mind believes. Let's do it together. Maybe bring your palms together. Lift, lift, squeeze and lift. That's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and you made it, bar stars. Here we go, take a stretch. Knees a little bit wider than your hips and lower down towards the floor. Let your head just release. We're gonna come up. Really important to take these stretches now. I want you to take your right leg in front of you, left leg behind you. Pigeon stretch. If you have a cushion nearby, put it underneath your right hip if it's too uncomfortable. Bring your right heel in for less feeling, right leg out for a little more. Walk your hands forward and just surrender and melt. Your muscles are warm. They're stretching, releasing, letting go. Deep breath in. Slowly come up, bring your right heel in, extend your left leg out, and stretch over your left leg. We did a lot of oblique work here, so go ahead, feel that release. Come up, and let's take the left leg forward, right leg behind you. I recommend doing the stretch every day, right? You open up your hip flexors, great for the lower back. Inhale, exhale. The average person sits 13 hours a day so unhealthy for so many reasons, but strengthening the glutes, everything we just did is so important for the well-being and health of your spine. It's not just the aesthetics. Take a deep breath in, inhale, exhale, come up, extend the right leg out, left leg in, reach over your right leg. And you should have a sense of accomplishment for sure. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that we make this a regular thing. Continue to do these workouts, make the commitment, stay strong, stay confident. And until next time, much health and happiness.